So it's my, imagine you've been doing this now for a decade. And, you know, you, you talked about the problems in Western literature when it comes to self-help and, um, you know, just self-development, not having a God in there. What problems are you finding when you reach out to people or you go to conferences or you do the coaching and the courses, especially on Gum Road? What are you finding in the Ummah itself? Like, what's the void there? Because obviously Islam is not the void there. What is the void in the Ummah? So it depends which segment you're talking to, right? Because what I found is people in different countries and different economic levels are facing different problems, right? So someone who is from a poor migrant family has a very different set of problems from someone who's a spoiled rich kid. Yeah. Uh, someone living in, in, a, in a country where the government are tyrannical, is different. they have different set of problems from someone living in a country where they have more freedom. Uh, but in terms of the people who contact me for help in this area, lately, the problems seem to revolve around a few things. Number one, the issue of masculinity. Mm -hmm. That's just like number one question I get asked yeah. about recently. Uh, not just for men, by the way. I have mothers calling me saying, my son, my child is 27 years old and still sits at home playing video games all day. Can you talk to my child? You know, <laughs> get calls that. I mean, when I was 27, I had four kids and I was uh, in a position at work. So to hear someone talk about a 27-year-old and calling my child, uh, you can see where the problem stemming from, right? <laughs> but masculinity is number one. Uh, number two is, uh, this is the one no one talks about, but I feel it's probably most crucial and underlining everything else is hyper-individualism. Mm -hmm. Again, back to me, me culture. People don't want to get married. They don't want to have children. They don't want any responsibility. They don't want responsibility towards their parents, towards the neighborhood, towards the ummah. It's just about them, their desires, their goals. It is the worship of the self. And I don't yeah. see people talking about this enough. We have an entire generation who have just become all about themselves to such an extent that they won't even get married because that's going to interfere with chasing my dreams and my goals. Right? This, this is, it, it's, it's become really scary the level of self-worship that we're seeing from this younger generation. A third problem that I'm seeing with this generation is uh, a lack of understanding of, of, of what marriage is and why we should get married, right? So like for the bulk of human history, right until 10 years ago, people knew you grow up, you get married. Now I'm dealing with young people who tell me, oh, why? What, what's the benefit? What's the purpose? Why, you know, yeah. what, what do I get out of marriage? And uh, this, this, this isn't really so much a self-help problem as it is a problem with the culture we are living in because the culture we are living in has replaced marriage with self-pleasure if, if you understand what i'm talking about right and uh, people don't see the need of having someone else in their life yeah uh, yeah they literally don't see the benefit of marriage anymore people just yeah. feel like it's a waste of time and yeah. this is scary because what, what what's going to happen to the uh, okay don't know what's going to happen to the next generation are we even going to have a next generation yes. if nobody married <laughs> Exactly, absolutely.